Okay, Andrea just went to Bojangles and decided to get an eight-piece chicken meal. And um, they told her it was going to be very fresh. So let's open it up and see what we got here. Here's our eight-piece chicken meal. Oh, wait a second. That's not eight. That's seven. So did, did Loki come in here? And have a little snack. I think they shorted us one. Or they shorted us one. Maybe we get one less because it's fresh. So here's the introduction to the new nieces. And so this is Andrea's quote birthday present to herself. Now just for reference, Andrea's birthday is in February. And so these chicks were ordered in February, but they weren't going to be available until this time of the year. So, real quickly, do you want to explain? This is a blue copper moran. Let's see if we get this one. This is a splash purebred Americana. Blue egg layer. This is a Wheaton Moran. The Morans have the little fuzzy feet or fuzzy legs. See? They're fuzzy legs. Alright, where's your expensive chicken? This is a lavender Americana. Okay. Okay. Then the other one. Just just do the other ones. Oops. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here's two of the green queens. And then the other one, just point to it. This is the other green queen. It is that one, one right there. Okay. Now for those of you that aren't adverse in chicken genetics, um, the Lavender Americana, which is that one right there, that is a purebred Americana with the lavender trait on it. That's and, a very light gray. Which, they call it lavender, but it's actually a light gray instead of an actual purple color. Um, that chicken right there, that one chicken, was $40. So... It was not my birthday or not my birthday money, but that's what Andrea wanted. And this is going to, this is blue because it's going to be a darker gray. And that's the other Americana? No, this is, this is the blue. Olive egg? No, this is the Moran. Okay. Blue so, copper Moran. Okay. So anyway. But I'll be able to tell the two different because this is a darker gray versus the lighter gray. And okay. it's got the little gray feet. Okay. So now Andre said the term olive agar for a few of these. This one? Like the two this chipmunk one. ones. And then the dark one. And then the dark one right there. Uh, olive agars are part Americana and part something else, but the genetics of the other chicken is what produces a green egg. That's why they're called olive eggers, because they produce green eggs. The Americanas are going to produce blue eggs, and the um, Morans are going to be some sort of dark brown-ish. Well, a milk chocolate to a dark chocolate. Yeah. So there's evidently different shades of color on Moran eggs, so we won't know until they actually start laying. But um, the goal with these is to, Samantha has been broody for a while now. And so Andrea hopes that if she starts chucking chickens at Samantha, she will accept them. And then she will raise them as her own. And so let's get them out of the box and get them into their brooder. Uh, so you can see where they are actually living. Um, not in the dinner box. All right, while Andre is getting that ready, I figure I'll babble a little bit. Uh, these were 
hatched at Myers Hatchery. And let me get the box. So here's the box that they came in. Um, they're obviously in Ohio, in um, north central, northeast part. Uh, ironically, uh, I used to live in Stowe, Ohio, which is not too far from here. So I thought that was kind of funny. But this was the box that they came in. They were hatched Monday morning. And they were shipped out Monday afternoon. And originally, Andre got a tracking thing that they weren't going to be here for Thursday. And then she started freaking out and all this type of stuff. And I told her to just calm down that the post office is notorious for giving inaccurate times on their deliveries. And then she got a notification yesterday while we were out and said that they were ready. Now, these are live animals, obviously, and live animals have to, or at least around here, have to be picked up at the post office where the carriers will not deliver. And then the other fun fact with all of this, uh, we had Tropical Storm Debbie last week, <clears throat> and our... Uh, post office is in Nichols, South Carolina. We don't live in Nichols, but we're part of that zip code. So that's where our mail comes from. Well, Nichols, every time we get bad storms, has a propensity to flood. So Nichols flooded and the post office partially flooded. So we didn't even know if we were even getting mail. Uh, luckily, they have... Uh, the post office has dealt with this before, so there's a town called Mullins, which is about five miles away, and so all of our mail got temporarily transferred to the Mullins post office, and we actually got mail yesterday, so they are actually delivering mail, but at the time, we didn't know this, so we switched to a different post office. Andrea has a friend that uh, goes to the Conway post office, which is just south of us. And uh, we were able to switch the shipping address to go to that post office. And so that's how we ended up with the nephews. Now, my aunt last year, she coined the term nephew, um, meaning just the, the uh, sisters in training, so to speak. Because Samantha raised three chicks last year, and uh, or in early this year, and so she was saying they're the nieces, and so we're we were calling them the nieces until we figured out there were three roosters, then they were the nephews. So these are going to be the nieces. Um, Andre already has names for them. And, uh, but we are not naming them until after they at least get their juvenile feathers. Okay, I'm going to try to do this from the opening. This is our new and improved brooder setup. Let me zoom out a little bit and I'll show you what it is. This is just a small cat or dog enclosure. And... Uh, Andre said it was recommended to do this as a brooder and so the good thing is it's very open so it has a lot of ventilation and it's also collapsible so when we're done with it it doesn't take up that much space. We made a brooder last year out of wood and OSB and that was very big so we had to uh, we ended up giving it away to somebody. We just went on Facebook Marketplace and said, if you want it, come take it. So somebody that lived about five miles from us go, ooh, that's awesome. And then he came and picked it up. And now it's his problem. But he was really excited for it. So good for him. And so we have our brooder plate here, which is set up for the um, chick temperature. We have obviously food which is the chick food. We have our water set up here. And since they're so small right now, 
We have rocks in the water so they don't accidentally fall in and drown themselves because they can do that. We have grit over there so when they're old enough they can start eating grit. And so right now this is their chicken life. And so the idea is going to be to start giving them to Samantha and see if Samantha will accept them. And if she does, then we'll start slowly giving her more chickens. Because right now, Samantha is sitting on six fake eggs. So if we just start popping chickens in there while they're young like this, uh, we have an above average chance of Samantha actually raising them. And so she's done it before, she can do it again. And so that leaves our involvement down to a minimum because Samantha will take care of all the day-to-day -day stuff. Now, if that doesn't work, that's why we have this brooder, which is here. So worst case scenario, the chickens will uh, stay in here until they get their juvenile feathers and then we'll transition them outside. Uh, if Samantha raises them, then the transition between them and the sisters will go a lot easier. So hopefully she will do that. Then um, there's something else I was going to say. Yeah, Andrea said that the reason why she picked the now to have these chickens is the sisters are almost a year and a half old. And once they hit two years old, their egg laying is going to start going down. And so she wanted to have new chickens to come in that could be at full production when the sister's egg laying starts going down. It is not our intention to uh, get rid of the sisters once they stop laying eggs, you know, either by giving them to people or uh, butchering them. Um, I know they're considered livestock, but... Uh, I consider them like um, any other pet that we have, so similar to Sherlock or Lady Pants or whatever. Family. Yeah, so they're like family. And um, so that is it. So evidently it was a little traumatic experience for them being in the Bojangles container. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Bojangles, I don't know how much Bojangles is around the country, but it's definitely a southern thing. Uh, it's similar, sort of, to Kentucky Fried Chicken, except Bojangles' breading is spicier, and they obviously have more southern-type uh, dishes, like they'll have like baked beans and stuff like that. Um, we do have Bojangles and Kentucky Fried Chicken around here. I just don't know how far Bojangles actually goes out of the south. So... Anyway, um, I think that's enough of me rambling about the nieces. And so, um, yesterday when we got them, uh, what you do with the, with the chick is you pick them up and then you physically stick their beak in the water and then you stick it and then you set them down right next to the water and that lets them know that the water is there. So as this one is demonstrating they have no problem drinking on their own right now. And then the food is real close to them and everything. So I think that's about it. And of course, if we can get Samantha to accept the chicks, then we'll start doing videos on that. If Samantha's not going to accept the chicks, then we're going to have to get her out of her broodiness. Because she's been broody for over three weeks now. Full on broody coming up three weeks. Yeah, so she has her going into broody stage where she'll be broody and not be broody. And then she'll go into 100% broody mode. And that's almost three weeks. And it typically takes 21 days to hatch an egg, a fertilized egg. So she would have possibly another few more days of her full broodiness and then she would naturally get out of it for a little while so anyway get one last look of the nieces so there they are and 
as things happen, we will keep you updated.